Welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Feroz, and in today's episode, we are going to be talking about Moon Edge. They've just opened up their whitelist for their public sale. We're going to go through the details exactly how you need to do that. But before we do, if this is the first time you're here and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news, insights, or analysis, to help you get that edge, start now by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Better still, come and join us over in the Telegram community. Plenty of crypto enthusiasts from novices to pro traders. So no question is too big and certainly no question is too small to help you on that crypto journey. Now, let's talk about Moon Edge, the first decentralized launchpad fully dedicated to IDOs on Polygon. So why Polygon? Well, we need to start with Ethereum. The issue with Ethereum today is when you even look at DeFi applications or just interacting with Ethereum when it comes to dApps, transaction fees are costly. If you're spending two to three hundred dollars at a time, transaction fees can easily be fifty to seventy dollars at a time when it comes to interacting, staking, or even unstaking. So you kind of have to think to yourself, is it really worth it? And that becomes a deterrent for users. And likewise, Ethereum 2.0 is supposed to help solve some of those issues around scalability. And once again, no surprise, Ethereum 2.0 is delayed well into next year. Who knows? It could be the year after. So what we now have are solutions, layer two solutions like Polygon, formerly known as Matic, which really provide you that L2 solution to be able to have near instant speed, scalability, and most importantly, pretty much transaction fees that are non-existent in comparison to Ethereum. Similarly, we are seeing plenty of popular projects also migrating onto Polygon as well. Aave is a prime example. The total value locked on there is significant now, which clearly shows that there is confidence behind the L2 solution in itself. And this now will also open up, I would say, is the doorway for a lot of new projects that want to launch you know, say on Ethereum, but the problem is you're going to have all of these slow network problems. You're going to have all of these transaction, costly transaction fees that are going to be a deterrent. And especially if you're looking at platforms that are looking to get involved in DeFi and certainly you want to kind of market that to the average user, the fees are just going to be a massive blocker. And so therefore, by migrating your projects or launching your projects on Polygon, you are fundamentally moving around all of those issues that we currently see on Ethereum. And so it's no surprise that you are going to get IDO platforms now launching on or well, I should say again, it's going to be no surprise that you're going to start seeing lots of more projects launching on Polygon. And the issue there is how do you know that the projects that you're investing in are not necessarily there to fundamentally scam you, rug pull you? How do you know that they're not audited enough to make sure that, you know, they're airtight, that there are no leaks within the actual contract itself that allow fundamentally hackers to drain those pools? And so therefore, this is where IDO platforms like Moon Edge are going to come in specifically for Polygon. And so with Moon Edge, what you're obviously getting is an IDO launchpad platform. So first of all, you're going to get trustworthiness, trustworthiness being that because there's going to be complete project reviews of pre IDO projects on Moon Edge. So you get that vetting that's involved with that. You're going to get the transparency that comes with that. So that's also going to be open and transparent communications with the community about all the Moon Edge projects. The other interesting part that I like, which is very different fundamentally from the other IDO platforms out there, is that they have a fair tiered system, meaning that you will get a guaranteed allocation regardless of what tier you are in. And now the difference there with other IDO platforms is there are tiered systems, yes. There are allocations, yes, but you're not guaranteed the allocations. Ultimately, it comes down to a lottery system on those IDO platforms. And then once you do get picked, if the allocation is very small, when I say two to three hundred dollars, the transaction fees are going to eat into that. So you're not really left with much in terms of an allocation and you're banking significantly on some decent upside when the project launches for you to be able to capitalize, get some of that capital back as well as your profits and make sure that your profits aren't necessarily paying off your transaction fees. There's also a tier X here as well, which is yet to be announced, but uh, you need to stay tuned for their medium just to see exactly what that's all about. Now, 
The other element that I mentioned earlier is obviously support. So the value add services that you see with this particular IDEO platform is that they will support projects on MoonEdge. And the interesting part here is when you talk about support is also have a look at some of the backers. These are very well known backers within this space, very trustworthy backers as well. And one thing when I look at support is that when you look at these types of VCs that are involved and partners that are involved with MoonEdge, you can see from a support perspective that where MoonEdge is also providing that support, these projects aren't necessarily going to want to back an IDEO platform that's just going to launch any old project. And then fundamentally, those projects end up scamming users because it reflects negatively on the overall investors. And so when I look at investors, when I look at partners that are involved with various projects, they also provide part of that support network because they've been in the space just as long. And so you have more eyes looking at various projects or pre-IDEOs that come in that want to launch on the MoonEdge platform itself. Now, the other thing is just to kind of understand how it all works. So as I mentioned before, all of these tiers, you get a guaranteed allocation sort of within a predetermined time frame. So you go ahead based on whatever tier you're in. And then any unsold tokens are then reallocated based on the tier system as well. And then it becomes a first come first serve scenario when it distributes those uh, allocations out. When we look at the token utility of Moon Edge itself, there's three areas that it falls into. So firstly, you're holding the token to participate in the IDO itself, which is obviously the fair tiered system. So that gives you a guaranteed allocation depending on which tier and how many tokens you're holding that you're in. There's also what they call a strong hand incentive. So there's a chance for a tier upgrade. So that also provides a bit of a, what I would say is reassurance that generally those who are participating in the actual initial launch of moon edge aren't necessarily looking to dump either because if you hold on to your tokens there is an incentive for you to be upgraded and therefore you can get a higher tier with a lower allocation that's kind of how i'm reading that there's also governance and staking so you can vote on protocol updates to govern really the future of moon edge and then also you the tokens allow well the governance and the staking element also allows you to decide on what projects should be hosted on moon edge as well and then there's also delegation of project reviewers. So I suspect there's going to be a lot of that information coming out as we move further down the project roadmap. And then lastly, you've got staking rewards. So from that, you know, you'll be able to get rewards for providing liquidity as well. And that's always a plus because it does sort of attract users initially to the platform as well. Now, let's also talk a bit about the competition. So there's a few other platforms in this space, obviously, you know, this isn't nothing revolutionary when it comes to IDOs, but it really is the value add that you see around the whole Moon Edge platform, which kind of, I would say, trumps the other platforms that we see. So first of all, you know, we've got DX sale, that's sitting at a six and a half million dollar market cap. But where it kind of doesn't really come up to par with Moon Edge is that, you know, Moon Edge has governance models built into it, you know, so you've got the full committee voting. You don't get that really with DX sale. You've also got the whole fair allocation system. You don't get that with DX sale. You've got project support. You don't get that once again. You've got full project orders. You don't get any of that. So with DX sale, you get projects that are listing, but there isn't really any guarantee or assurance that the project listing aren't necessarily going to scam you. Similarly, when we look at Unicrypt, it's the same story albeit slightly higher market cap at 21 and a half million. But once again, you don't get any of these additional services that really come around the actual Moon Edge platform and therefore give you that confidence that the projects listing are top tier. So all of these really fundamentally play into, you know, when Moon Edge comes out, if you're looking and you're, and you're a market cap person, right? Because ultimately we've got two people here when we kind of look at these platforms. You've got those who are going to want to get hold of the tokens in order to be able to participate in future projects, top tier projects in Polygon right and that's fine and then you're going to also have the other flip side where there are those who want to invest and hopefully get into the whitelist lottery for this to be able to flip right if you're going to flip you're going to be looking at market caps for comparisons and so if we actually have a look at the tokens that are completely up for sale you know you've got 200 million in total now the initial market cap is sitting at 555 thousand dollars so that's very low and if you then start looking at the market cap of these platforms here you can see that the scale in terms of just returns from being able to get into the public white sale i'm not too fussed about the private and seed and i'll tell you why in a bit you know you're looking anywhere from an 8x to 40x plus in terms of your investment so this is just for those who are really interested in looking and comparing market caps because it really gives you that understanding of okay so where can this project potentially go 
Now, when we look at the sort of vesting periods, once again, as you see with typical projects, seed, public, and obviously team tokens, they're all locked. They've got minimal amounts dropped to them at the beginning. And then they actually have a daily vesting. So for the seed, for example, you're getting 0.33% on a daily basis. So it'll take about nine months for that to fully be handed out. Now, bear that in mind, you know, with such a long distribution, it does also, I find these types of mechanisms do also help stabilize the price and help with price appreciation as well. So the likelihood of a dump should be less apparent to anybody really more than anything else. And the other interesting part is public also, you only get 25% at listing, which is also important because you're, the likelihood of people dumping, I think is gonna be quite low as well on this. And I, and I want to be real with everybody when we look at these types of projects, because you might, you know, you might be investing, looking for a long term, you might be listening for a short term, but really with these types of locks that you have in place, I would certainly say that the likelihood of a pump and dump is quite minimal more than anything else. Now, in terms of what else I'd like to cover, let's have a look. So the last thing that I really want to jump onto now is really looking at the whitelist. So here are a few things that you need to bear in mind that the actual launch of the IDO itself is gonna be on the Matic network. So you're gonna to need to make sure that you have USDT on Matic, right? So having it in your Ethereum wallet is not gonna be helpful. And secondly, the other thing that I wanna sort of draw your attention to is once you've whitelisted here, you automatically get airdropped moon, moon tokens as well. And the interesting part is, and I'll go into detail about that, is each time you refer more people on your referral link, you get more moon tokens as well as part of that airdrop. So even if you don't get picked for the whitelist lottery, you still get the opportunity to benefit from free tokens as well. So that's always a positive. And so to kind of go through that in detail, I'm just going to jump straight in and exactly show you how you sign up for the whitelist, how you also configure your MetaMask for the Matic network as well. So you need to make sure that you're configured for that, otherwise the whitelist process won't work either. And also I'm gonna show you how you transfer from Ethereum using the Matic bridge to get your Ethereum and your USDT into your Matic wallet. So then when the IDO is around the corner, you're ready to go basically. So step one, we need to head on over to MetaMask if you haven't already done so, and go ahead and download the browser extension and that will install it onto your local browser. Once you've done that, then the next step is to actually configure MetaMask so it can work on the Matic network. And the way we do that is pretty straightforward. I'll share a link below in terms of exactly where the guide is that I'm using for this. But what you need to do, open up MetaMask, go ahead here and click on the Ethereum mainnet dropdown. From here, what you want to do is select custom RPC. So once you've selected that, you'll be presented with a number of fields that you need to fill in. So on the first one, give it the name, which is Matic Network. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. Next, you need to get the RPC URL, quite straightforward. Go ahead and copy this one and drop that here. Chain ID is 137. Currency symbol is Matic. And then the block explorer basically allows you to monitor your transactions and search them similar to etherscan put that in there then you click save once that's done you'll see that you've added a new network at the bottom matic mainnet now don't worry about the wallet because whatever wallet you're using as long as you hold the keys to that wallet whether it's on the ethereum blockchain it's the same wallet that you can use on matic mainnet as well once you've done that, close that out. And as you can see, by default, it would have already selected Matic Network for you, and you've selected that. So now that's configured and ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is head on over to Moon Edge Finance, and we're going to sign up for the whitelist registration. So now we click sign up, and on the sign up page, we'll go ahead and copy the email address over. So I've just created a temporary one for the purpose of this tutorial. So go ahead, paste that in, then Pick out a password, one here, and then you just click sign up. Once you've clicked sign up, it will then present you with the registration button. So you click on register, and then it will have your email address in here. What you'll then do is click on send verification. So that will then go ahead and drop email in here, so which you can see. So there we are. 
we open that up, you'll get a verification link. So you click on the verification link. That will then open it up here. Email has been verified. Click return to registration. Then you need to verify the wallet that's connected. Click on verify. That will verify the wallet. And at this point, if you are not connected to the Matic mainnet, this will throw up an error. So all you just need to make sure that you are on the Matic mainnet. That was all of that. And then you just need to follow the last items, which obviously is make sure you follow on Twitter. Head on over to the Twitter page. Give that a follow. Following. Then make sure that you are also on the telegram so here make sure you add in your email address so ac decentralized or c and or telegram all you need to do is make sure you're in the telegram group so you click ahead you go ahead and you click on telegram that will then open that up and then once you're in the telegram channel make sure you join it and once you join that you then go ahead and punch in those three, four, five. You go ahead and punch in your Telegram ID. Click submit, and the registration is complete. You are now participating in the airdrop with one ticket. You're also participating in the white list lottery as well. So therefore, and that's it. Now, for every ticket, you will receive a dollar mooned in the airdrop, and so you receive additional chances to participate in the sale. And also, here's a referral link. So use the referral link. Obviously, share that around. And then as more people use your referral link, you will then also get additional tickets, which will obviously give you additional airdrops. And then the last one, to show that you've participated, you just go ahead and submit that tweet to claim your bonus ticket as well. So if you just go ahead and do that, punch in your tweet, and then that's it, submit your Twitter URL, and then you claim your bonus URL. And now also bear in mind that when you actually participate, if you are selected as one of the lucky lottery winners for the whitelist, then the other item that you need to bear in mind is, is that the IDO itself will be taking place on the Matic network. So you're going to need to have some USDT in your wallet on the Matic network. Now, if you're not already on Matic, then you're going to have to transfer funds over to that. And this is how you do that. You navigate over to the bridge. So there is a bridge that allows you to transfer your Ethereum, your USDT onto the Matic network. And um, that's wallet.matic.network. You click on MetaMask. As this is what I'm using for the tutorial. You then go ahead and sign. You sign in, and then that will connect it through here. Very straightforward in terms of what you need to do. Basically, you just head on over to move funds to Matic Network. So you click on move funds to Matic Network. You select the amount of Ethereum that you want to transfer over. So if we just say full amount here, then you click transfer. When you do that, it will ask you to basically confirm. So moving funds from Ethereum to Matic deposit fund takes around seven to eight minutes. So you have to wait for a while. And then obviously what's not supported is delegation of validators, but we don't really care too much about that. And then after that, you just click on continue. Once you do that, you'll then get a prompt from MetaMask to authorize that. And then once you've authorized that, that will take about eight minutes. And then the funds will appear on your wallet within the Matic network. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. So that's really my quick guide in terms of what Moon Edge is all about, how you can register for it. And obviously, if you found this helpful, then please do subscribe to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know what you think about IDOs in general, and I will see you on the next one.